Seed catalogs were used prior to the introduction of the internet and modern magazine formats. They were sent to subscribers of a plant nursery, which was where the seeds were created and cleaned, and they would send the catalog back with the seeds that they wanted, and the seeds would be sent to them, rather than the easy process of selecting the plant you want at a garden center or online, as we do in the modern day. The most noticeable change in seed catalogues is the change from illustration to modern day printing. The catalogues used to have printed illustrations of the selected plants, which were intricately drawn, but the development of printing has led to the development of photograph full colour images in the catalogues. Seed catalogues display far more about British history than one may initially think. Seed catalogues have had a variety of seeds throughout the past centuries and the increase of the British Empire is shown through the increase in exotic plants available to buyers. This shows the British Empire was seen as a way to exploit foreign countries for monetary gain. This also shows the increase of globalisation in the past centuries and how the earth has very rapidly become more connected than ever and it's become far easier to have plants from thousands of miles away. Another interesting view of plant catalogues is what they tell us about the war as the interest in fruit and vegetable seeds grew massively during the Second World War as a result of forced rationing by the government. This shows people in the 21st century the reality of war and how small focuses, such as gardens, had to be disregarded to focus on feeding families with the necessary nutrients required. This helps us to remember how privileged we are to be able to focus on the beauty of gardens rather than having to focus on the necessity of food. Seed catalogues also demonstrate the changes in sustainability throughout the past centuries. When seed catalogues began, plant pots were originally always ceramic but this led to issues with them frequently breaking due to fragility. Therefore, when plastic was introduced to the mass market, it was an obvious decision to change the plant pots to plastic for easier transport. The introduction of peat has had impacts on the environment as the harvesting of peat releases greenhouse gases. The awareness of these environmental impacts has caused peat to no longer be advertised in seed catalogs as it was only a decade ago. Seed catalogues are not where a person would usually turn to for historical insight, but these seed catalogues show the changes in sustainability, both the increase and decrease, the rise and subsequent fall of the British Empire, and how rationing had a larger impact than anyone may think. In a hundred years, the seed catalogues of today will also be studied to see some of the factors that determine our lives.